Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Strong in Christ, June 4, that He would grant you according to the riches of His glory to be strengthened with might through His Spirit in the inner man. Ephesians 3.16 our Saviour represents His requirements as a yoke and the Christian life as one of burden-bearing. Yet, contrasting these with the cruel power of Satan and the burden imposed by sin, He declares, My yoke is easy and my burden is light. When we try to live the life of a Christian, to bear its responsibilities and perform its duties without Christ as a helper, the yoke is galling. The burden intolerably heavy. But Jesus does not desire us to do this. He bids the weary and heavy laden, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. Learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Here is revealed the secret of that rest which Christ promises to bestow. We must possess the meekness of spirit, and we shall find peace in him. Many profess to come to Christ while yet they cling to their own ways, which are as a painful yoke. Selfishness, love of the world, or other cherished sin destroys their peace and joy. My fellow Christian, remember that you are in the service of Christ. Whatever your burden or cross, lift it in the name of Jesus. Bear it in his strength. He pronounces the yoke easy and the burden light, and I believe him. I have proved the truth of his words. Those who are restless, impatient, dissatisfied under the weight of care and responsibility are seeking to carry their burden without the aid of Jesus. If he were by their side, the sunshine of his presence would scatter every cloud. The help of his strong arm would lighten every burden. We cumber ourselves with needless cares and anxieties and weigh ourselves down with heavy burdens because we do not learn of Jesus. Christ's true followers are unlike the world in words, in works, and in deportment. Oh, why will not all his professed children follow him fully? Why will any bear burdens which he has not imposed? In every act of life, Christians should seek to represent Christ, seek to make his service appear attractive. Let the graces of the Spirit be manifested in kindness, meekness, forbearance, cheerfulness, and love. Love to Jesus will be seen, will be felt. It cannot be hidden. It exerts a wondrous power. It makes the timid bold, the slothful diligent, the ignorant wise. Love to Christ will not be dismayed by tribulation, nor turned aside from duty by reproaches.